Hey howdy folks and welcome back to the War Thunder Ground Forces test server with the mighty jingles and um, there's all sorts of new stuff on the test server. I haven't had much time to actually get my hands on it. I'm actually recording this at four o'clock in the morning uh, when the uh, when the West Coast USA uh, server slot is open. Um, but I just wow. I mean, we're we're finally starting to see some of the tanks that probably most people are going to want to be playing Wolf Underground Forces for. I'm talking about things like. Well, there's the T-34 1942 version with the F-34 76mm gun. And there's the mighty Joseph Stalin with the 85mm gun. The Su-85 tank destroyer. The monstrous KV-2 <laughs> with the 152mm M10T howitzer derp gun. Um... I haven't played any of the Russians yet, but I am really looking forward <laughs> to uh, having a go at one of these things. I, even with a Tiger, I've had problems penetrating the side of this thing, which is kind of bizarre. You'll see what I mean. This says 70 millimeters of hull armor at the... Oh, that's the rear. Um, 75 millimeters of hull armor at the side. The Tiger's supposed to have... Well, substantially more than 75mm of penetration. Um, but you'll see what I mean in the replay. And then, of course, this thing here, the T-3485, which is the, uh, the latest version of the T-34, with the upgraded and much more roomy turret and the, uh, the good 85mm gun. But, of course, the Germans have had some love. We have the Panzer 3M. We have the Panzer 4H. The Flak Panzer is still there. And the Jag Panzer IV, the old Flat Panzer. All 75mm armed, with the exception of the Panzer III, which has a 50mm gun, and the Flak Panzer, which obviously has the 20mm Flak gun, but that, I'll stop teasing you. There it is. <laughs> there it is. The Panzer Kampfwagen VI Tiger H1. That that's probably the reason why a lot of people are very very interested in playing War Thunder Ground Forces because of tanks like that. And there it is. It has the 88 mm KWK 36, an absolute bastard of a gun in real life. What's it going to be like in War Thunder? Well, I didn't have much time to play on the test server. So this is really kind of a teaser video, but you're going to see some gameplay footage because I did have a chance to play one game, uh, playing as the Germans, and that's what I'm going to show you now. New map! Yay! It's the Cuban. Thank God for that. I was getting so sick of playing on that Corellia map. This map is definitely a lot more open than the Corellia map, which we've previously been playing on the test server. So there's going to be a lot more long-range combat going on here. You'll see later on there are some areas of high ground that give you really good commanding views of the battlefield. And there seem to be far less in the way of obvious choke points on this map as they were on Corellia. Now, one issue that I have, well, it's not just with the Tiger. Um, I had this problem with the Tiger, I had it with a Panzer IV, I had it with a flat Panzer. It, again, the handling doesn't seem right. And, uh, you know, I have no idea. I mean, I've seen a Tiger driving around at Bovington, and this thing just does not feel like it weighs 60 tons. But Again, this is what the test server is for. People raise that sort of complaint uh, in the first version of the Ground Forces test, and Gaijin addressed it. And towards the end of the first version of the test, driving our tanks around Corellia, they did feel a lot more like they actually had some weight behind them. There we go. Target's up. It's a KV-2. 
Now, what? This was kind of weird. I could not get through the side of the turret of a KV-2 with the 88mm Tiger gun. I am actually having to aim for his turret ring to find some place I can penetrate. Now he's less than 500 meters away. He has 72 millimeters of side armor. And this gun's supposed to be able to penetrate 103 millimeters of armor at that kind of range. So we do get through him with two shots. But I would have expected to be able to penetrate the side of a KV-2 from any range. And not be forced to aim for weak spots. That's... That's not very encouraging. Now remember the side of the Tiger is 82mm thick and those Russian 85mm guns... Oh, there we go, one shot killed a T-34. But those Russian 85mm guns have the same penetration and there I'm getting shot on the side and that has absolutely wrecked this tank. There's an invisible T-34 over on my left. Nobody spotted him. I'm trying to pull the tank back, but... Oh, no. So two hits, set on fire, dead. And there he was. T-34-85. 85 millimeter gun. Just as dangerous as the Tiger's 88 millimeter gun. So now we're going to take the Panzer IV-H out for a spin. And it has the same kind of handling... Well, I don't want to call them problems. But just like when I first got my hands on the first version of the test server with the lower tier, you know, the earlier tanks, they, they just did not feel like there was any weight. They skidded around the place on terrain that you would not... Look at that. I'm practically doing handbrake turns. <laughs> now, once again, you know, I have to hasten to add, I have never driven a tank in real life. I do not know how these things are supposed to perform. But they just don't quite feel right. But once again, that's what the test server is for. So we'll have to see how things change over the course of the next few weeks. You know, if indeed they do change at all. Who put that bloody tree there? So inconsiderate. Now, remember, this is my first time on this map, um, and I'm trying to find some high ground. Try to get a, a better view of the battlefield and uh, shoot up some noobs. Nothing spotted so far. Oh, oh, this is not going to end well. It's an SU 85. And he puts one into me. You notice how the gun I hit him. And then somebody kills him for me. Thank you. Now, you notice how the gun wobbles all over the place when you're traversing, when you're elevating and depressing it. There are upgrades available for all of your tanks which reduce... oh crap, there's another one. Oh, it's a tiger. Hey! Oh shit, he's seen me. <laughs> oh well, I hurt him, but I think he's gonna hurt me more. And I check this out. I pull back, and I'm trying to get out of his line of fire. I can beat his reload, and look at that! Blew my turret right off. <laughs> That's fantastic! <laughs> I think he probably detonated my ammo rack. Alright, let's have a go in the flat panzer. All of these tanks are completely stock, by the way. Um, none of your progress from the first version of the test server has carried over. Uh, you'll note that I have a, a flak panzer with a 20mm auto cannon. 
in my garage. And in previous videos you've seen that I've fully upgraded my Flak Panzer. Uh, I could call in artillery barrages with it, all sorts of good stuff. Not anymore, it's completely stock again. Both the Germans and the Russians do get one tank which is mostly upgraded. Um, for the Russians it's the T-46 and for the Germans it's the Panzer II. Um, and they both come with not everything but a lot of the upgrades unlocked. All of the other new tanks, you know, that they're, they're, they're pretty, they're just, you, you've got to start from scratch. And you cannot, unlike in the live version of War Thunder, use gold to skip the upgrade process. Oh, it's a tiger. And I've got his side. Hey, <laughs> have some. <laughs> Come on, have some more. What? Undamaged? I demand a refund. Yeah, hurt him again. Oh crap, he's turning. Oh, this isn't good. Um, oh, he's gonna. Oh no, 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 no! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Get, get back! Oh, hit him again. The good thing about the Jagdpanzer IV is because it's so low profile, you don't have to move back very far or very fast to get yourself out of the line of fire of a slow reloading. Oh, somebody else killed him for me. That's nice. Yeah, to get yourself out of the line of fire of a slow reloading tank like the Tiger or the KV-2. Anyway, that's pretty much my contribution to this game over. Um, I never really see another enemy tank from here on in. So two kills, two assists uh, on the new map using all the new tanks in the War Thunder Ground Forces beta test. Well, the new German ones anyway. I have yet to get my hands on the Russians, but their day will come. Um, I will obviously be dedicating a lot more time to uh, giving these things a damn good run out over the course of the next few days and weeks. And as always, I will be sharing the results with you, you lucky, lucky people. So, until next time, take care on that battlefield, and I'll catch you later.